Good morning, brothers and sisters, and welcome to our reading of the Chronicles of the Children of Jaranak. I'm Michael Clark. I'm a member of the Fellowship of Christ, or the Church of Jesus Christ in Christian Fellowship. So, uh, the chapter we're on today is Chapter 8, The Mission of the People of the North. So let us have a prayer before we start. Our most gracious, loving Father God, how should he? We thank you that we can come and use technology to to read together the book of the children of Jaranak. We ask that your spirit be with us today as we ponder on the things that are mentioned in it and that we get some message from you, Lord, in it. So, Lord, I thank you for this time. And we pray for people that are in need at the moment, uh, those that are in war, those that are having trouble in their life. I know you love everybody, Lord. And I say these things in your sons, your wonderful gift to us, Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Right, let's get underway because it's a bigger chapter today. Now, I, Jaranak, being, being the last prophet of, prophet of my people, record on these plates the mission that was taken by Hajinak and his brother. Behold, Hajinak's brothers were called Mishman, Mishmanak and Shizna. And they were great men, for they did great work upon the land. They served the people. Now behold, I, Jaranak, was taught by the mother about my, their mission to the people of the north. And it is thanks to them, in part, that all the houses of the people of Aranak became one, and our people became one. Now I'll write upon the record the story of their mission and their dealings with the people of the north, for the Lord had commanded me to include this upon the plate, for it will be blessed. It will bless the lives of his servants in the days before the second coming. Now I return to the record and make an account of their mission upon the place. Now Hajanak went to his brother and told them that they must go with him unto the north countries. Now behold, his brothers said that they would follow him and that they would do so with the willing spirit. For they had come, had been told by the Lord that day where to go on this mission. And so they walked into, they walked into the north country for the space of 14 days, for they had travelled north further than any other man of the people of Aranak, upon the land had ever walked. On the fourteenth day they came to a river, in the river, and the river was deep and wide, and it seemed to them that the journey was to go no further, for this was a mighty river, and so they prayed to the Lord, that they might cross the river, and the Lord answered their prayers, and he sent forth an angel to guide them across the river, and they crossed the river, and entered into the land full of forests, and all manner of creatures and wild beasts, that they had never before seen. And they, the three journeyed in the forest for the space of five days. Now on the fifth day, they came across a great building, and this building was tall, and it reached into the heaven, and upon its wall were markings or writings that they had never seen before. 
and they could not read. Hajanak and his brothers wandered, wondered at who had made this tower and who had written this language and they supposed that it must have been the people of the north who had built the tower and they spent three days and nights camped about the tower and they prayed unto the Lord and asked that they might understand the words that were written upon the tower. As Hajanat looked about the tower, the Spirit filled upon him and witnessed unto him that the people of the north had built the tower and that the writing upon the tower was written in their language. Miss Manak Hajanak's brother stood far from the tower, looking into the valley that was full, full of trees and a mighty river. And in the valley he saw many buildings and smoke rising from the valley. And Mishmanak told Shizna to go down and make an account of the things that were in the village. But Hajanak stopped Shizna and said, to Mizanarat, that they should wait by the great tower, for he knew that the people of the north would come unto them, for the, this place was a holy place, and he said that he knew those people because the Holy Spirit was told him. So it was that three days passed, and they waited at the tower for the people of the north to come unto them. And on the third day the people of the north came forward and made themselves known unto Hajanak and his brother. Now when Hajanak saw them approach, he stood and went forth unto the people of the north and stretched forth his hand and greeted the people of the north as he had did and spoken, saying, My name is Hajna, I come from the people of Aranak, and we are friends and brothers. Behold, we believe in the one true God, and it is he that has sent us to your land to make ourselves known unto you, that we might become one people, being joined together in one place. And Hajanak stopped talking unto them and stood, for he had made an end to all that he had to say to them. And the people of the north stood and looked upon each other in astonishment, for although they did not speak the same language, the Holy Spirit made the words known unto them. Now the people of the north were tall men, and they wore beards, and they were light and fair, and they looked as if they, the sun had given them life. Now the leader of the group of the people who were of the north was called Judna, and he stood forth and approached Hajanak and held out his hand, so that Hajanat might take hold of it. Now Hajanat took hold of Juna's hand, and as Hajanat took hold of Juna's hand, the Spirit testified to him that the people of the north <coughs> were people of God, and they, they meant them to no harm. The same was to be for Juna, for it is written that when he took hold of Hajanak's hand, the Spirit told him that he was a man, the Most High God. Now after Judna had taken hold of Hajanak's hand, he spoke unto Hajanak and his brethren, saying, Come, I will take you to our city, and I will take you to our leader and our council of elders, and you will be told of the history 
of the people and all the things that troubled you might mind troubled your mind will be made clear when the three brothers heard this the spirit interpreted the words unto them understanding and and because they were glad that they went forth Juna and the people of the north and they would travel for the space of five days while they were travelling they behold a manner of buildings both small and large and on the buildings were written strange writing and it was the same writing that was written upon the tower and they saw many people and they were greeted with warmth and friendship as they travelled. Now on the morning of the fifth day they came to a city and as they entered the city many people came out of the, la the homes and gathered them and they sang and they, their praises filled the air and they said with one voice, Hajinak, sorry, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, the people have come to us, the people have come to us. When Hajinak and his brothers heard this, they, they were astonished, for they had never met the people of the north until the time, and it seemed so to Hajinak and his brethren that they were expecting them and had been for a long time. Hajinat looked about and they beheld a great multitude of people and the people had gathered to see them and to greet them. Now the people threw flowers at their feet and sung as they walked and crowded round the brothers amazed. And Judna had seen this, and he stood before the people and said unto them, They have come unto us. And now I, Juna, will take them before the council, and then you may greet them and speak with them, but until then let them alone. With this Juna, led the brothers away to a great hall called the Great Hall of Rignon, and they were taken to the council cabinet of the leader of the people of the north, and they stood upon the council of elders. Now they were stood before the assembled people. An old man came before Hajinak and took hold of him, and his name was Venron, Venron, and he embraced Hajinak, and he said to Hajinak, Welcome, my brother. Although my words are hard for you to understand, I pray that the Lord will make them easy for you to understand. Now, we are the people of Ridnon, and we were brought to this land with the people of Lamdon, Lim Limadon, our cousins many, many years ago. We were brought here by the power of the Most High. Your people still wandered the, the wilderness on the land across the sea. Now I testify that we have kept records of our dealings with God and our religion and we have kept their say, kept them sacred. We were told in our past that three brothers would come unto us and bring us further light and knowledge and we would add to their understanding the gospel of God. Behold, we have been told by our leaders of old that we must be joined with this people. Then will be a prophet 
and a man anointed of God to lead them. Among them will be a man of a prophet anointed by God to lead. Behold, we were told that we should join with them and become one people, and it is to this end we have kept record of our religious practices and our religious order. Now I say that these three brothers have come and I embrace you as brothers, for you are my brothers, my brothers in the gospel of the Most High. When Venran had finished speaking, Hajinat also embraced him, and they cried together, for their hearts were full of the Spirit of God, and the whole council chamber sang out with one voice, Glory to God! Glory to the Most High. Yes, so that finishes chapter 8. And we learned there that the brothers went on a mission, which the LDS Church still do. It sends people out on missions. And uh, we learned that God wanted them two people to meet. So that comes to the end of our study today, and I'll finish off with a prayer. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for this day's study of the children of Aranak, the chronicles of the children in Aranak. Um, we thank you for bringing it forth to us. And we know that God has a plan for us. We could tell from that that he wants people to meet together. And that he puts people in your path. So, Lord, we thank you for these things, and I'll say these things in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. God bless you, everybody. Have a good day, and uh, we'll see you soon. Shalom. <laughs>